guys, Clef here. Today we're gonna be doing a triple boot or multi-boot of uh, Windows, SteamOS, and Batochera for the GPD WinMax 2. There's a couple of things I want us to go over. One, why do this? Well, it's kind of nice, you know, to have a system and we're all doing the boot from one single drive. That frees your micro SD, your USBs, potentially your second slot since the GPD WinMax 2 has both the 2230 and the 2280, but there is something that is gonna be very important and we'll, we'll touch base when we get there. And what we'll do is separate a portion of the drive to run the games from. This way, all different operating system have access to that drive in case you need to transfer file over or just because you wanna, you don't wanna have to install a game twice, but you wanna be able to run it from different uh, operating systems. A couple of recommendations. Because we're gonna have three OS on one drive, I strongly recommend following this video step by step because if you do something different, you could potentially damage the MBR, the master boot record. It just causes a lot of waste of time and it's not ideal. I would do it with three USB drives, but just in case some people only have one in hand, I'm gonna do it all with one drive. What I would recommend, however, is as much as possible, if you have like a Lexar or a SanDisk, one of those well-known brands for your USB stick, the reason is some of those off brands, they have broken clusters even from day one that you purchased it. And that causes so much issues and wasted time when trying to do these processes. So if you have a popular brand, like for example, I'm using a Transcend, uh, it's been with me for many years now and it's done fantastic, very reliable. Uh, I would recommend, you know, if you have a stick that is reliable, ideally go with that. You want a minimum of 16 gigabytes. You don't really need more than that. As far as the operating systems, SteamOS, the fundamentals work for sure. Uh, other than things like changing the TDP, Everything else works just fine. Batochera, for some reason, the HDMI out. Sorry for what will probably be terrible audio. Clef from the not so far future. Um, just to let you guys know, as long as the HDMI is plugged in before you boot into Batochera, the HDMI out will work on the GPD WinMax 2. You just go into settings and set it up uh, with the video output. There you have it, yay. Everything you need to play essentially will work on all three systems, but for Windows, we'll make sure that everything works from the touchscreen, the fingerprint, and we're not using the GPD Windows installation. We're doing a fresh install. So having a key would be ideal. I'm sure you know there's a bunch of websites where you can buy them for like five, $10, very inexpensive. And last but not least for these videos, what I recommend is Watch it once, get familiar with the process. If you're, you know, if these are the kinds of things where you're, you're a little stressed out because you don't usually do these kinds of things, I recommend watching it first and then going through the process a second time with the video as an assistant. But of course, that is up to you. All the links we'll be using, I'll make sure to drop them in the comment box below. We'll be starting with Win WinRAR. Everything I download will go here. So I'm not gonna download WinRAR because I already have it, but if you don't, Make sure to download it, make sure to install it. The next step is we'll need Rufus to install our images or flash our images. Uh, I recommend the portable version, this way you don't have to do any extra installs. From there, you'll grab the Batu Chera image. So we wanna grab the x86-64 image. The reason why we got WinRAR is to be able to extract this image. So you just want to open it. So we can just open it with WinRAR. And we can just go ahead and drag and drop in our folder. Make sure you know how to access this folder, right? Because we're gonna spend a, a fair amount of time in that folder. All right, once the file is extracted, you can go ahead and delete the zip file. We won't need it anymore. This is about the time that we'll plug in our USB stick. Of course, as we will flash the image, everything on that stick will be wiped. So make sure to back up whatever is in there before you do. And it goes without saying, we'll also wipe our WinMax. That's very important to know. For us to be able to achieve that, we need to wipe our WinMax 2. So if there's anything you need to back up from that device as well, make sure to do that first. So of course we want to open Rufus, make sure that you're selecting the right drive. That's really the takeaway here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and select our image. And as far as everything else, you just leave it as is. You don't have anything else to do. You wanna go ahead and start the process. Tells you it's gonna delete everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
drive contains multiple partitions yep that's fine you can go ahead and delete it that's all good so while this is happening we can start downloading some other things you want to go ahead and grab the uh, media creation tools you want to make sure to grab the windows 11 installation media so we'll go ahead and download that and we can go ahead and download our drivers as well so we'll need our drivers for the graphics card and we also want the chipset drivers which um, i believe the download link is right here Aume partition assistant. So normally we should need that to format uh, our drive. So th these are all things we'll use at a later time. So we'll just go ahead and download while this is uh, happening. So we want to download the freeware because I know a lot of you guys don't necessarily go on Discord. Uh, you know, the Discord I recommended on the audio fix for the GPD Win Max 2. There, everything, everything pertaining to this device, the GPD Win Max 2 happens in that forum um, and this person did what i can only describe as a care package <laughs> um, it's such a beautiful body of work that combines all different things to look into your win max 2 you know to troubleshoot it everything pertaining to the gpd win max 2 is in that github page uh, I strongly recommend bookmarking it if you've never been there. I don't know that I've mentioned it before, but it's a beautiful, beautiful compilation of everything you're going to need for your GPD Win Max 2. So you want to grab the driver pack, you want the uh, wind controls, and you want the motion assistant. If anything, these are the main tools to bring your Win Max back to a state that is similar to what you had when you got it from GPD. Now that our Batochera image is finished installing, you want to go ahead and go to your folder where you saved everything and create a new folder that we'll call Batochera, okay? And you want to go to the image itself that we just flashed, open it, and everything that is in there, you want to move it to that folder. Now, once everything is finished uh, moving over. What we want to do is to wipe that drive clean using the media creation tool because we'll create our USB stick to install Windows. All right, so everything now moved over to that file. What we want to do is open up our media creation tool. For the time being, we can close Rufus. We'll need it a little later, but for now we'll close it. Use the recommended option, yes. A USB flash drive. And we want to grab the exact drive that we just flashed Batochera on. So we'll go ahead and do next. So this can happen because the Batochera partition is actually too small. So what we'll do is we'll do the Windows key and just type disk. And you should see here this here, create and format hard disk partition. So we want to select that. And we want to go to our Batochera and just do a volume with this. It really doesn't matter because once it sees it, it's going to delete everything, but so now we want to grab new volume. And again, it's just going to wipe the entire drive. So all good. So we do next. So while our media creation tool is happening, one thing we want to do is to grab hollow ISO. Uh, which happens to be Steam OS, of course, we'll need that. You just want to scroll down where it says installation on releases. So we'll click here and just grab whichever is the latest version. Voila. Now we still have some prep work to do, but other than that, we should be done with all the downloading. All right, with our USB flash now being ready, we can go ahead and close this. Now, we're not quite ready. We're not quite finished. Um, as we mentioned, the Batochera partition was deleted, so that's fine. So here we have our Windows installation. Now, before we go ahead and move over to Windows, we're actually going to create a folder here. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it WM2. Okay. And in that folder, you want to move a couple of things. You want to grab motion assistant. You want to grab wind control. You want to grab the drivers. Uh, you want to grab this, um, which is the uh, AOMEI uh, partition assistant. I don't remember how it's called, but anyways, that's this program. Uh, we want to grab the drivers, of course. 
Rufus, it's okay. We can leave it on our other computer uh, because we'll need to put hollow ISO in there. So we'll just leave it here. And we want to grab the Batochera folder. So these files, you want to grab them and move them over to the folder you created on the disk you just created. All right. Now that we have transferred everything over onto our SD card, the last thing our, onto our USB flash drive, my bad. The last thing we need to do is to make sure we don't corrupt our files. So you really want to make sure eject the drive the proper way. So we want to go back to this PC and we want to select the drive, right click, eject. You know, it's that one thing that happens once every 100th time, but when it does, it's such a pain that is best avoided. So always eject the proper way. Okay, so we're not totally done with our other PC. We'll go back to do the hollow ISO, but for the time being, uh, it's gonna stay aside as we will now start working on our WinMax 2. So we're gonna use the disc. So of course we wanna punch that Dell key to boot into the BIOS and make sure we select the USB drive. All right. And then um, once we start installing Windows, what's gonna be important is to make sure that we wipe the drive that we're gonna use to install our OS. All right. So we wanna pick custom. Now, because I actually did all the stuff, I have to delete the partitions, but essentially, what you want to do is delete any partitions on a disk. There's a lot because that was a triple boot, but normally you shouldn't have that. Uh, you should probably, I mean, depending on how you organize your partitions, it's not impossible, but it's unlikely. <clears throat> so here, as you can see, I have drive zero, drive one, drive one is actually the one that, uh, I installed in my, um, uh, screen swap video. I think it's on its last breath. It's kind of dying. That's why I don't want to touch it at all. I'm going to take it off, uh, and replace it with something else at some point drive zero. So we want to go new. Now I have to, this is a two terabyte drive. So the way you want to go about this is you want to have space specifically for windows and space specifically for steam OS and for Batochera. Batochera doesn't take a lot, but I know that I want to give 400 gigabytes for windows, 400 gigabytes for steam, eight gigabytes for, um, uh, Batochera. And the rest is going to be the drive where we put our ROMs and our games so that all different op operating systems have access to that. So the way you want to set this up, I'm going to put 400,000. This is for my main drive and we want to do apply. So it's going to separate part of that drive. Now we go back to the unallocated space and I want to create the eight gigabyte. So we want to do 8,000. And now very important. So, Whatever is reserved for Steam OS, it has to remain in its unallocated space. So what we'll do here is I'm just gonna remove 400,000 off of the rest. Voila. And again, very important that whatever is going to be for Steam OS stays unallocated. So we'll go ahead and do next, but just before we do that, we select the actual partition that we want to install on, which is gonna be the very first one we created. So we'll let it run its course. And of course, when that restarts, if you are set uh, to boot on USB first, make sure to remove your disk before that happens. So whenever it reboots, I'll remove my disk and then we'll be ready to carry on. All right, with our system now about to reboot, we'll take off the drive, restart, and let the Windows installation complete. Once the Windows installation is complete, we're going to install the folder that we put on our drive and then we'll carry on to creating the hollow ISO um, USB stick. Now that we are in Windows, we want to install everything that is on the drive. So we'll connect it back. Here we have our WM2 folder. Hit the Windows key and type device to open up device manager. 
There you go. We'll just push it to the left side. Here, as you can see, we have five different things that are not yet installed. So we'll just install everything in that folder so that we have all our drivers set up for Windows. So we'll start with chipset. Pretty straightforward. Just, you know, follow the process, let everything be checked and just install. Now you'll notice that by the time the installation is done, we'll go from five things, five drivers missing to three drivers missing, I believe. We don't want to restart just yet. We're just going to install everything and then we'll uh, reset. Oh, and actually I realized um, when I moved everything to the uh, USB stick, I forgot to extract the drivers. So I'll go ahead and start that process. If you did extract it, good on you. If you haven't, you know, you can go ahead and start that process as well as we do the installation. So next is the graphics card. So just the same, we went from five to three. Now we'll go from three to two. And then for the last two ones missing, I'll show you how you want to go about them. Let's go ahead and install wind controls. Wind controls is now installed. So we'll do motion assistant. Now we'll do the AO MEI, whatever partition assistant. Okay. So while this is all happening and partition assistant is now installed, we'll pick the drive that is eight gigabytes big, which happens to be this one. And we want to right click on it and format partition. We want to make sure that we choose fat 32. Now I'm going to call this one Batochera because this is what's going to go on that drive. And then you hit OK. It's going to ask you to apply. Just go ahead and do that. So this is a, the only reason why we needed this program. There's a good, there's a fair chance that Windows is going to let you format to FAT32 without that software, but it's kind of inconsistent. Some builds let you do it, some builds do not. So with that software, you're guaranteed to have a solution. I'll let the uh, <laughs> extraction finish first. So now that we have our drivers extracted, we want to right click on the last two unknown devices. You want to do update driver and then select the folder that is on your stick. Make sure that includes that folder is checked and then just go ahead and hit next. And it's going to find the driver as it has just now. And we just want to repeat the process with the other one, the last one. So update driver, the folder should already be there. There you have it. Just hit next. And boom. And just like that, all your drivers for Windows are set. So your WinMax is going to behave exactly like before. So we can go ahead and close device manager. Now we're almost done. Before moving on to different OSs, we want to boot. Um, we want to give a letter to Batochera and move the files over. So we're going to hit the Windows key and type disk. And you want to select create and format a hard disk partition. There you go. And then on your drive, you should see the Batochera that we formatted. So you just want to right click on it and do change drive letter and path. I'm just going to put a letter like so. There you have it. Voila. Now you want to go to the drive that we just created, the Batochera one. Open a folder. So this we can close. And now on our drive, on our USB drive, you want to go to the Batochera folder, go inside the folder, grab every file that is in there, voila, and move it to the fold, to the disk, to the partition that we just created. Now, once the file transfer is over, we're totally done with Windows. We can move over to different operating systems. One thing I will uh, suggest, this is not something you have to do, uh, but if you want to debloat your Windows for it to boot faster and just, you know, because it's a gaming focused machine, uh, there's this software called, or it used to be called, this is Win 11. It's called now D blues. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Highly recommend it. It's a very good program to debloat your installation. We'll go ahead and eject our drive. And now with that drive or a separate drive, we'll go ahead and format hollow ISO on it. So that's pretty straightforward. We go back to our folder that we had, we open Rufus. And from there, we just pick up our image, which is going to be hollow ISO. 
And you wanna make sure that you are on NTFS and that the partition scheme is MBR. Everything else can stay the same. We'll just go ahead and start. And you want to do write in DD image mode, very important. All right, so now what we want to do is restart our PC and hit the delete key to boot into the BIOS. Go ahead and boot. Now this gives us four different options. I usually pick copy to RAM because I find it's just a little bit faster, but as long as you do hollow installer, that's all you need to pick. So it's gonna run a bunch of codes and then we'll get into SteamOS. Don't be surprised if it takes a couple of minutes, it's absolutely normal. Okay, now that we are in Steam, very simple. You wanna go to the top left where it says install Steam on this machine and click on it. So it'll give you the option to install Hollow ISO. You wanna pick that option, of course. Here we pick the same drive that we did all the partitions on. So that in my case, it would be drive zero. And now it says, it asks if we want to erase the entire drive. Of course, we don't want to do that. We want to install alongside other operating systems. Now you need to select a password. Make sure to remember what the actual password is because you're going to need it. And now it's just gonna tell you about the drive and the free space. So the unallocated space that we left aside is exactly that. So we wanna hit yes. And then there you have it. It's gonna start installing. So it's gonna run a bunch of commands. It's gonna take a couple of minutes and then we should be set with our Steam OS. Just for the record, I had one instance where as I was about to install, it gave uh, an error message that I couldn't mount um, a partition. If that happens, it seems to be a, an issue that happens in the read and write cycle. Just reboot and restart and, you know, eventually it's going to work. But yeah, if you run into that, don't be alarmed. Just restart the process to install SteamOS and it should work at some point. Oh, and while installing, the system has a tendency to go into idle and shut the screen. Don't be scared. It's not shutting down or anything. Uh, it, yeah, it's just going into idle mode. So just move and it'll refresh the screen. And voila, with this part completed, we are done. All our three OS's are now installed. We're still gonna do a couple of things just to go over everything, but by this point, you are done, my friend. It's over. So we're gonna restart. Now, the next part that I'm gonna do is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want. You can remove your stick, by the way, by this point. Um, I like, so you see, you have all three boots, right? We have Windows, we have Batochera, and the third one is Steam OS. I actually want SteamOS to boot every time I boot my system and I'll show you why in a second. So what you wanna do is you go to your boot order. You wanna go down where it says UEFI NVMe Drive BBS Priorities. Click on it and where it says option three where your SteamOS installation should be, you want to paste it over with the Windows booting. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I'm doing it and you'll see why in a second. So we'll just save, it's gonna reset and it'll automatically boot into SteamOS. And you'll notice that SteamOS gives you three options and this is what I like. You can either go straight into SteamOS or you can do UEFI and it'll boot you into BIOS where you can go and select Windows. So essentially you don't have to mash your delete keys every time, you can just do that instead. And now we'll go into Batochera and by the way, if you find that it's confusing that you have two boot that have the same name, that can be changed. Uh, but you know, this is something extra. There are plenty of videos to show you how to do that. But yeah, very important when you boot into. It's very simple. All I need you to do is um, hit start, go where it says system settings, just tap enter. It's gonna take a second or two. That's absolutely normal. And then once it is done, go where it says storage device and just push enter and then push again internal. And that's it. Just so it creates the file system. So we can do back. And before we go back to Windows to have a look at the file system, um, there are a few homebrews in there. So if you wanna try some stuff, you can. Uh, you don't have to put ROMs yet. Anyways, so we'll just exit. Um, let's see, start, quit, restart. So once you're in Windows, 
just go to your this PC and if you go on the the bigger drive the one that we set to put our ROMs and our games if you go in there you'll notice that there are now a bunch of file system that was created by, by Batochera and the ROMs fold oops is where you want to go to put all your ROMs so that they move over to Batochera all right and then last but not least of course we are going to reboot one more time but this time we're going to boot into Steam OS the first boot takes a bit more time, that's absolutely normal. While it's doing that actually, um, I've had it happen once where the first boot, for some reason, it would stay a black screen but you could hear Steam. If that happens, I believe the reason is um, the operating system considers your HDMI out as the primary display. All you have to do is put an HDMI cable and pull it out and it'll reset back to the screen of the Winmax 2. So that might not happen. I've had times where it did. I've had, had times where it didn't. Just so you know, if it does, don't be scared. Just plug an HDMI and out and you're, you're good. And there you have it, guys. Your SteamOS installation is right there. So it's really a hollow ISO. The team behind that operating system did a fantastic job because it, it really, minus very few features, this is Steam Deck on a device that is not Steam Deck. It's pretty impressive. So yeah, there you have it. I mean, everything is there. You have the, uh, what's it called? The desktop mode. And so that's pretty much it guys. Um, hopefully that was not too long or too complicated, uh, a guide to follow. And, and hopefully you, you'll find some great ways to make use of that triple OS build. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to help as much as I possibly can. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.